Hello and welcome to my new YouTube channel, Brew Boys, um, where I'm hopefully going to show you some of my homebrew and how we make that. So I've been brewing homebrew kits for a little while now, um, but now I've got this new Brewzilla machine. Um, we're going to try doing some all grain uh, recipes. So uh, today I'm going to brew um, a recipe called a Tiny Rebel Urban IPA. Uh, it's from the Malt Miller. I'll just show you the kit. So uh, this is the kit from the Malt Miller. Got 4.2 or 4 kilograms of grain, which is um, Wayman Carapillis, Chris Malt, Rolled Wheat Flakes, Chris Munich Molson. Pale, best pale ale malt. Three types of hops: Chinook hops, um, Columbus hops, and Cascade hops. Um, the the kit comes with all the uh, all the ingredients and the recipe for how how to brew it. So I'm currently heating the water in the brewzilla. I've got 19 liters of water um, in there. Currently heating up to 70 degrees, 70 degrees, uh, which will be my strike temperature, um, and hopefully when I put the grains in, that will drop down to the mash temperature of 66. Uh, so not much to see at the moment; it's just full of water warming up. Now again, right, so I'm in the kitchen now. Um, we're just going to do our water profiles. So we're using demineralised water, um, and we use brew to tell us what minerals to put in the water. So we've got um, some different minerals, um, gypsum, magnesium sulfate, calcium chloride, um, and we use Brew Father which tells us, you can see, what we need to add to make our profile. So I'll just get on and measure these. Okay, so we're at temperature at 70 degrees now, uh, so we're going to put the grains in, and we'll see how this goes. Good, eh? Just make sure there's no dry bits. Mm -hmm. yeah. No dough balls, they call them. Then we'll get the rest of the bag in and we'll give it a good stir. Uh -huh. I think it looks alright. It's 
turn the pump back on. Get the, the so if you get, take it out before you put the pump on, so it doesn't suck back up. I don't think there's any lumps in there. Temperature still at 69. Right. Okay, pump's not filling there. Some work out that's all the all the grain in there and it's looking good so I put this top in there and I'm just going to film it here so I'm just going to push that down until it touches the top of the mesh just like that um, and then we're going to turn the pump on. I'm just going to set the rate so that it's not rising or falling. And then we'll set the timer for 60 minutes. Put that in there. I'm going to put the lid on actually. You don't have to put the cone in, um, some people don't, you don't have to put the top screen in, some people don't. But it's our first time we're using it, so we might as well. Yeah, don't really know any better. I think I'll still turn that down slightly. Okay, what's the temperature right now? We need to set the temperature. So we'll press pause it, temp down to 66 degrees. Probably should do that before. <laughs> no. It's a learning process. So we're going just over half an hour now. We've got 27 minutes left of the boil. It's all being trapped by grain fiber. Um, and a little peak. Oh, steamed up, but it's all all appears to be looking good. All working. Um, maybe it's not rising too much. We'll see. This is Tilly my whip it. Uh, just come to check how things are going in the brew shed slash brew garage. All right, so that's been mashing for an hour. It's had ten minutes of mash out. Um, so now we're going to do the spars here. We've got a big uh, container here with water at 77, 76 degrees. Um, it's going to lift out. So we're going to, firstly we're going to turn this up um, to the boil, I think. We'll lift it out and we'll turn it up to start the boil. So we'll turn the pump up. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up.
Okay, so that's raised up now. I think it's working. Who knows? I'll back to see this bit off. So, all the, all the quantities of the water uh, we got from the brew farmer app, we just put the recipe in it. So, it's exactly how much water we needed for the mash and for the sparge, which was nice and easy. Job done. So we've we've mashed out um, the volumes of water are about correct. So we've just raised 100 degrees, uh, recircling, and we've just taken a gravity uh, a gravity reading, which is 1040. If you maybe can see that. Ooh. Um, the brew father said it should be 1042, so I'm happy with that for a first attempt. It's close enough. So all good. Now we just bring it back to the bowl and boil it for an hour. Okay, so we're just getting up to 99 degrees now. Uh, 99 degrees. Um, it's boiling away. So I'm just going to turn down to the turn the fine jaw element off um, and we'll put off start our timer oh, going. and then we've got all our hops here in little pots so the first one um, is five grams columbus goes in to the hot spider mm. and then we leave that now for the 45 minutes um, before putting our next next hop in, which goes with 15 minutes left. So this is boiling away. We've had the hop additions at 60 minutes, 15 minutes, 5 minutes, um, and we're just going to add some more hops in 40 seconds time, turn off the boiler, put on the cooling um, spiral and cool it down. Beer. There we go, it's the end of the boil, this is the last, the last hops going in, right in there. Let's give it a little bit of a stir. Don't know if that needs that or not, but there we go. Oh, Drop this in. Going to take out the spider. So we've got the chiller in now, um, we're just going to go and turn on the water um, and we'll watch, it's already cooling down to 94 degrees. Um, and then when it's all cooled we'll take a, uh, a gravity reading to see where we're at. So we've got the whirlpool arm as well, so that's on. Um, I think it's doing something, it's hard to tell. I don't know if the hop should come out now, maybe someone could Give me some advice on that. I th imagine they've got to stay in there, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, it looks like the whirlpool is working. Excellent. Yes, that's been cooling down for some while now. It's at 27 degrees. Just turned off the hoses. Um, I think 
think we're good to transfer it into the fermenter. Still go to the bottom. We want it to blast in. Oxidate it when it goes in. Here I am in the cupboard under the stairs. Um, Bruce seems to go all right. We've got 20 litres in the fermenter. Um, yeast is in, um, and it's just now sat under the stairs. So we'll see what happens for two weeks. And there she is. Gets it to the ink bird. And the heat mat on set for 20 degrees. Um, just over 20 litres, which the recipe said we would get. Um, final gravity was a little bit lower, 104.4. I think it should have been close to 150, but you know, maybe we can improve that on, on other brews. There we go. So that's the end of the brew day. That went pretty well. The, the brewzellas all packed away in the corner, tidied up. Um, I think it all kind of went to plan. It wasn't bad for our first attempt, um, it was a lot of fun. So hopefully, uh, in a couple of weeks, do another video tasting the beer once it's fermented. I've got another one ready to go which is a elusive a a lucid brewing spellbinder coffee um, porter. Uh, maybe I'll do a video of that in a couple of weeks. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll get more content up. Um, thank you very much for watching.